place that fear can exist is in our thoughts of the future. It is a product of our imagination, causing us to fear things that do not at present and may not ever exist. That is mere insanity, Katana. Do not misunderstand me. Danger is very real, but fear is a choice. It can't find me. Doesn't even know where to look. We are all telling ourselves a story. You can either live your dreams or live your fears. And I think the majority of people actually are not living their dreams, but are living their fears. You don't let the fear take you over if you've got strong enough reasons. If you've got a compelling vision and you've got strong enough reasons that will push you through the tough times, you're going to do things other people don't do. When you set a goal, when you get really clear on a vision, there's strong enough reasons and you review it enough, it becomes a part of you. There's a certain amount of strength, a muscle tone, and energy that's available in your body on a regular basis because that's who you are. You don't just get a result without some kind of action. Success and failure are not giant events. They don't just show up. You don't just suddenly become successful or suddenly have this cataclysmic event that makes you fail. They look that way. But failure comes from all the little things. It's failure to push yourself to do things physically that you don't want to do. And all those little failures day after day come together until one day some cataclysmic event happens and you blame that. That event happened because you missed all the little stuff. Success is, Feeling the sense that I'm here to grow and I'm here to gift something to the world more than just myself. Because if you're willing to go through all the battling you got to go through to get to where you want to get, who's got the right to stop you? I mean, maybe some of you guys got something you never finished, something you really want to do, something you never said to somebody, something. And you're told no, even after you pay your dues, who's got the right to tell you that? Who? Nobody. It's your right to listen to your gut. It ain't nobody's right to say no after you earn the right to be where you want to be and do what you want to do. Is it every day I demand more from myself than anybody else could humanly expect?